Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up and transfer data from an old Android phone over to your new Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus or the S20 Ultra. Okay, we will begin by turning on the phone and tap on the arrow button. And I'm going to choose Agreed All and tap on the next button. Here you can try to connect to a Wi-Fi password or you can do it later on. I'm going to connect now and tap on the connect button. Then tap on next. The phone will take a few moments to check for updates. If there is any new updates, it will try to download and install it. Okay, on the next screen, we're going to choose next. And I'm going to try to use um, transfer data for my old Android Galaxy S8. And so here, use your old device. I'm going to tap on next. So now it's going to um, download a smart switch from the device. So just wait for the download to finish. Now on the next screen, I'm going to choose wireless. And tap on agreed. And go on your old Android phone, go to Google Play Store and download Smart Switch. And then either update or install. So you may need to update to the latest version so that it could con commun communicate with the Smart Switch on your Samsung Galaxy S20. Once it has been installed, tap on Open. And then tap on Agreed, tap on Allowed. And here it says bring your data to your new phone. We want to send data instead of receiving, so tap on send data. And I'm going to tap on wireless as well. And then this two phone will try to communicate to one another, as you can see right here. And I'm going to choose allowed on this one. So now they are trying to communicate and transfer data from this one over to this one. I'm going to swipe up. And it's here, it asks you what do you want to bring over from your old Android device. So you can go through the list and choose. You can select everything. If you want to transfer everything over, just choose everything. Otherwise, you can go down and uh, simply select or deselect any items that you don't want to transfer over. Then go down and on your S20 or the S20 Ultra or Plus, tap on Transfer button. And then tap on uh, copy on your old device, tap on copy. So I need to verify. So I'm going to put in uh, the, the pin or the passcode on the device. Once you put in the pin, it will automatically try to copy the account details as well over to your new phone. So you can see here, over here it brings out, brings over the details. And over here I need to uh, manually put in the password. Okay, so I have put in the password. I'm going to tap on sign in. So tap on sign in and say so copying your stuff over. And now say so downloading uh, updates. So we just wait for that to finish. Over here on the Galaxy S20, it also needs to update the smart switch as well. So we will wait for the update to go through. Now shortly after on my phone, on the old Android device, it's saying all done. On the new uh, Samsung Galaxy S20, it's still saying update smart switch and downloading updates. So just continue to wait until it's finished. And after the update, you can see it's account added. So we just wanna tap on next on the S20. And on my old Android device, I'm just going to tap on the close button and then tap on the home key. And we move that out of the way since all the data has been copied. I'm going to tap on next and then tap on more, more and accept. And here you will have a chance to set up a pin or password. I'm going to set up one, two, three, four and tap on continued. Then put in the same pin again to confirm and tap on OK. Then we can review additional apps. If there is anything that you don't want to install, you can uncheck it. Otherwise, you can leave everything as the default and tap on OK.
and on this screen here it says get recommended apps apps will be downloaded when Wi-Fi is available you can tap, tap on the arrow down and see what is uh, going to uh, download on your phone then tap on next in here you have a chance to sign into your Samsung account so might as well do that if you don't have one you can create an account if you already have a Samsung account from your old device you can uh, sign in so I'm just going to try to sign in once you have put in a password tap on the sign in button and then go down and agree to all and tap on the agree button and it will also send a verification code to your device if you have a two-step turn on once you have received a verification pin you can put it in and tap on the verify button and then tap on finish it say all done tap on finish now the transfer process may take a long time depending on how much data you have on your old device if you have a lot of photos and videos they might take a quite a long time to bring it over so that depends on how much data you have to bring over otherwise some, if you don't have a lot it can be quite quick maybe just 20 minutes to half an hour and once it is installed you can see the phone still continue to try to uh, set up so let it download and install whatever it needs to do so continue to connect to Wi-Fi and that will complete your setup process and all your data should be uh, brought over either your messages, uh, your photos, contacts, etc. will be brought over from your old device. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.